my name is Pallescent Moon and welcome back to Hermitcraft Season 9, Episode 21. Last episode, we ended off the video by completing the newest expansion to my shop, the uh, little, little trade warehouse we got going on here. And I would love to start off the episode today by doing the interior just inside here. What I'm thinking for the interior is I want to do a whole bunch of just those really almost rickety looking warehouse shelves inside this room. I want to split the levels, make a second story there. And I also want to categorize the different sections by block types just to make it a little bit easier for the hermits to find which kind of block that they want. I did think originally that I was going to go for a completely hands-off experience, but I was just thinking, you know, I don't really enjoy sorting through 10 million shulkers to find what I need for building, so I don't think the hermits will enjoy that either. So what I'm thinking is, you know, at the end of each week, I might go through all of the boxes and just kind of reorganize everything. So if someone's left stone for wood, you know, I'll go pick up the stone and put it in the stone area. I think that might be the best way of doing it. There is not going to be any rule books for this shop either. This is going to be completely reliant on the hermits, you know, deciding what value they feel fits the item that they're picking out. If anything, consider this as almost a bit of a social test just to see how it goes. Like, will we eventually, you know, run out of items in the storage or will we always have some good stock in there. Just to get us started on the interior design here, I've just picked up a shulker, given me some really basic resources and woods that I think I'll use. I'll definitely need more stuff, but I think this is kind of a good start to really mock things out. One thing I have realized I'm missing in the shulker box is actually dirt, because what I would love to do is mark out like the really basic visual of the interior before actually going in with like all the specific tiny details of it. So that's something I definitely need to get, but Got a good start of blocks already. We can definitely even mark this off with some spruce wood, I'm thinking, just to kind of get the shelves started. Potentially on the sides here would be really, really nice. Wouldn't mind that. Oh, hello. Oh, oh. I, hello. Is that a false I hear? Oh, hello. Uh, hi, I brought a friend to see you. <gasps> Look at the lovely friend. Oh, what a gorgeous little one. Aww, What's his name? Isn't he cute? Yeah. Uh, Speedy. Oh, Speedy, Su Speedy Supreme. Is it mine now? Yeah, no. he's very speedy. Oh, I'm, I'm making a quick getaway here. I'm making a getaway. <laughs> yeah, you are. It's not, um, not very fast. It's he's false. not very speedy though. Um, wait, wait. I don't know if I can run after him though. Wait, oh wait, anyway. Am I quicker? I might be. You I, know, give, us, give, give a race. You're going to be quicker, surely, right? Oh, you know what? You're, you're a tiny bit quicker. How am I quicker? I feel like I'm going you're, as fast you're as a, a snail. You're a little bit quicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyway, I've got another gear for you. Another you've, gift. You've, you've got the gift of uh, gift of seeing Speedy. It's, oh. a, it's an honor. Okay. Yeah, I love yep. seeing Speedy. What's going? He on? doesn't come down very often from my mountain. Oh, okay. He's going um, for a lovely journey today. A little walkie. He's walking away yeah. too, by the looks yeah, of take, it. Yeah, taking up. him for walkies. <laughs> he's, he's fed up, boss. <laughs> and the other gift, um, you might not like too much, but uh, it's oh, okay. uh, this. I, I that just got white with a stick. What's this? You're welcome. At the deer stick. <gasps> I've been wondering uh, where this where, where this has been. It's been through a journey. Yeah, same. I I oh. forgot about it when I when I got here. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, now uh, I'm dreading. What's the dare, Falls? Yeah. Shall I? Wait. Oh, the horse has vanished. Uh, the dare. Mm -hmm. Your dare. Is. It's is, a good one. Is. Yeah. That yeah. you can't pick up. Oh. Any shulker boxes. No. That, no, that you no, place no, no, down. No, no. Oh, wait. wait. No, 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 no. You oh. gotta listen to the whole thing. Oh, that you place okay. down for the whole episode. Oh. Once they're placed, you can only open them. Okay. Huh? Okay. Wait, I can't. So, so yeah. like, if you if you place this one down right now, uh -huh. for this episode, yeah, yeah. you can't now pick it up and move it. I've already. I just placed that. False. I'm working on my interior. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I need my shulkers. No, you gotta just, you know, leave it there for now. False. Do you know who I am? Yeah. Do you know who I am, Fox? You're the you're the the tidy person. I don't know what you're I'm the cleaning name. lady. I don't do shulker monsters, <laughs> Fox. Well, you gotta I... make one today, unless you use chests. No! I mean, you're welcome to use chests. Wait, we can barrels. we can pick up chests. Oh, but then I can't transport it from my my storage. Exactly. I have to exactly. Use shulkers. Oh exactly. no. Exactly. And I don't and I don't see too no! much uh, too many items over here. So. Not yet. Good luck with that. I haven't been my interior yet. <laughs> and also, oh. thank you, because I, I can now uh, do that. And um, oh, I guess I'll catch you later. What, what about the horse? Horse? <laughs> That's the horse. Yeah, you might, you might want to get that one. I'm not having a speedy getaway. Okay. I mean, literally. Thanks, Falls. Bye. Bye. Oh no. Well, this seems like a wonderful time to start on the interior, doesn't it? I, I literally just put that box down. 
and now I'm being told I can't pick it up for the episode. Um, this is going to be very painful for the cleaner lady. I, I don't make shulker monsters. This, <laughs> I, I need a lot of materials for this interior, right? Maybe, maybe I'm hoping I can just live, live out of this box for the episode or something like that. I don't know, but, um, I feel like today is going to be about to be very painful for me. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well, you know, in this case, I'm just gonna kind of get going on this interior. We're gonna get this thing built up. I'm gonna put my head in the clouds for a little bit. Just vibe and create a style of this, and I'm gonna bring you all in afterwards. And hopefully not make a shulker monster in the process. Oh boy. I decided not to do a time lapse for this one because I was 100% all over the place while doing this interior, but let me show you around. It's all fully in and you might already see a whole bunch of colored signs and green concrete blocks decorating the area. Before we go in there though, I just want to show you this little piece off to the side because it is relevant. Um, I decided to add this in because I got this random tiny burst of inspiration reminding myself in like these recycling yards that they happen to have almost like the backs of trailers just sitting on the ground with some organic material kind of just falling out of it. And I decided to do that for all of the kind of like grassy, dirt, moss, all type of like ground coverage blocks just to stick them all in one place. I think it's cute, I think it works, and part of me kind of wants to do it with uh, stone pieces later on, but for now that's really nice. All right, moving on in straight away, let me show you the signs. For one, we have no royal emeralds accepted as a trade item. That was kind of a concern in the last episode. Some of the comments were like, but Pearl, what the hell use emeralds? And no. As much as my shop is just trash, no royal emeralds. And I've kind of decided to plaster that all over the walls just in case, you know, they think it's okay at some point and might miss a sign. Hopefully they won't miss it, you know? <laughs> and the other sign here says, swap items that you deem of equal value, straight to the point, pretty obvious what this shop means. And on the adjacent part of the wall here, I decided to add a couple of navigational signs, floor one, blocks and armor, and then floor two items, just to make it a bit easier for hermits to find their way around this particular building. And the last important sign is all chests with items inside are marked with green. When I first made this shop, I wanted the overall premise to be kind of like a thrift shop, something that people dump items in, you go around, you take your time looking through everything just to see if there's anything you might want. But I can see with us that, you know, we don't always have a lot of the time in the world to do that. And I kind of had to at least help them a tad. It still involves them looking through some chests, but at least they know that they don't have to bother with these ones because these are empty. They're just, they're straight up not, mar not marked with green, so they just don't have to bother with them at this point in time. And once they kind of come here often enough, they'll also learn that these are sections that are semi-organized. Everything on the left-hand side here is kind of like stone type blocks that they can use in terraforming as long as you don't click on the on the green bit but yes all the stone pieces are on the left on the right we have a whole bunch of wood and i've got leaves and everything like that all the natural building blocks over on the shelves here we have kind of the more misc type blocks i've got some nether pieces with one piece of skull stack of skulk. I'm actually going to move that over here or something. Uh, some end blocks, some prismarine. I just decided to throw stacks of really random stuff in there that, you know, maybe it might give a bit more variance for some hermits that want some niche blocks. Moving up the stairs, you can already see some lovely, lovely glowy shining armor. I wanted to make this represent almost like going thrift shop for clothing. And uh, all of this armor that I have sourced here is all from my end busting that I did a long time ago. So stuff that I'm probably not going to use, but could be good emergency armor for someone that maybe died and doesn't have any, but it's there. And just for a sneaky little thing, I've added an elytra in there too that I also figured I wasn't going to use. It's not enchanted, but free up for grabs. And if someone wants to swap some blocks for it, that's totally open too. Moving upstairs, this is the item slash valuables kind of category. Over to the left here, we have some ores. Up top in this chest, I have a singular enchanted golden apple and people can trade for it. So whoever comes to get that one is first come first served. And a bunch of random bits around the place like chests. We've got some, hold on a minute. We've got some plant items, some nether items. And like this little section here is crops and other fruits and veggies and whatnot as well. I didn't go too crazy with the interior design, but I think it works. And maybe sometime down the line, I would also like to just add maybe some armor stand decorations around the place. It could really liven it up. But for now it works and it is technically functional. You know I had to hang my bushes from the ceiling. <laughs> 
I like them too much. But yes, that is the interior of the trade warehouse complete, and I'm quite happy with it so far. Of course, it's not perfect, but as the hermits use it, it'll give me a bit of a better idea as to what I might need to change, what I need to add, all that kind of good jazz. But it's there, it's done, and I'm happy. I'm going to move on to do more things, but first things first, I'm going to ignore those shulkers behind me and clean up what I have in my inventory. So I'm just gonna pop back to the base for now and uh, call it a day with this shop. I move one sign out the way and there's something else built here now. Royal Giga Pies, freshly baked. Royal Emeralds, not accepted. Hmm. For a king that's made a new currency, that currency sure is technically useless if it can't even be used in the shops. Where is the logic in this one? All right, doesn't matter. I'm going back to base. It has come to my attention that Ren the Clown and his minions have constructed giant billboard monstrosities in front of Pearl and my shop. They have constructed billboards. Stand. Yes. Let's meet today and send a message back that we will not tolerate these actions. I'll bring the soup. It's getting silly. Wait, did it, what did he say at the end there? Let's meet today and send a message back that we will not tolerate these actions. I'll bring the soup. I'll bring the soup. I, excuse me, Impulse. The soup is my job. <laughs> I'll bring the soup. What nonsense is bringing the soup? I'm the soup maker. What kind of soup is he making? What is he doing? Anyway, I'm, I'm going to ignore that fact for now. I'm going to be very excited to see what kind of soup he makes, but... New message, he's discovered the signs in the uh, in, in the shopping district, which means we can finally have a chat to our soup mates about those and uh, figure out what to do next. I'm I'm excited. Looks like we got up the ante because the king is getting a little bit out of control. Okay, uh, well, I guess I have to let Impulse know I got the message. Uh, I, I could do a disc again, but uh, I think I'm gonna, you know, mix it up a little bit and do some paper. Uh, oh, here's a bit of paper here. Perfect, there we go. Oh, oh man, I just broke my anvil. That's okay. Finish my paper anyway. We have uh, soup maker, just in case, you know, he needs to know that I'm the soup maker here. Message received loud and clear. Meet at bridge. But thought I was going to bring the soup. You shall be judged. In fact, you know what? I'm completely open to other soup mates making the soup. But, you know, where's their soup license? Where's their soup license? Okay, well, I'm going to I'm gonna send this back and um, hopefully Impulse gets it. And uh, I'll just wait on the bridge for a little bit because I think... Yeah, wait, is he? Oh, he's online, he's just a bit AFK. Okay. Doink, doink. Whoop, there it goes, bye-bye. Okay, on my way to the bridge. <gasps> there he is! Hello, hello! You just, been, you just been waiting for me to receive your message back? <laughs> I have just been waiting. It's been a long 84 years on this bridge. <laughs> <laughs> it does take a while just for the minecart to get from your base to mine. It is a bit of a path. Are we missing somebody, though? We did. I got a message back from Jem. Unfortunately, she can't make this oh, one. No. But she's excited to see what we do. Okay. So, yeah, we're going to have to we're gonna have to go about it without her. We got to hit him back hard. Exactly. Have you seen the billboards? I've seen, I have seen my billboard, but you, and also the ones in the mountain and the one behind my shop. Is there more? Yeah. There's there's one in front of I buy and it is absolutely hideous. It's massive. You want to go see this massive monstrosity? Real quick before we do, where's the soup that you're talking about? Oh, mm. <laughs> ring soup. Check this I out. I need to Look see this. this. What is this? Mm -hmm. oh, this is top of the line. Stew? What's I this? I put my culinary <laughs> skills to the test. Okay, I'm gonna give it a bit of a munch, just a little little taste. Mm -hmm. a little. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't have one on full. Yeah, oh. I'm not hungry. Um, all right, well, may maybe a little bit down the line. <laughs> okay. I'll help you out. Okay, violent <laughs> methods, violent methods. <laughs> I'm still not hungry. <laughs> Gotta do it again. Oh, I can do it again. Do it again. Yeah, okay, violent <laughs> methods, violent methods. I'm still, okay, there we go. Uh, that, one was, that one was spicy. That, that's very spicy. Maybe turn down the spice mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, just a tad. Yeah, just a it's tad. good stuff, though. Mm, okay. You probably good don't stuff. even feel those arrows in your back anymore. N no, they're, they're still there, but yep, that's <laughs> filled in the spot. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go to the shopping district. Do you see it, Pearl? Am I seeing what? Do you see what, this? What am I saying? Monstrosity. Oh, my. In front of my eye by. Look, I saw my signs, but I did not see this one. <laughs> Thou shall never see escape. any of it. I buy is completely covered. You poor shop. I... And there's a whole bunch of other signs. Did you see all the other ones as well? There is, yeah. So there's mine in front of my shop with the thou shall not mine diamonds. You've got oh, the yeah, thou shall party now because I crossed that off. <laughs> <laughs> you cross? Oh, you crossed it I off. I crossed okay. that off. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 
And then we got Thou shall only eat, wait, eat only Giga Pies. <laughs> I'm looking in this direction. Is there, is there another little sign over there? I didn't see that one before. Oh, is it's that, got a little green on got, top. It's got a little tiny green. <laughs> resistance. Assistance. Assistance. That's what that says, right? Yeah, resistance assistance. And he's got a little TNT block on his hand. Welcome to, to Grax. Oh, Green's as resistance assistance. <laughs> Wait. Consultancy services. Oh, consultancy services. That's what I was like, what is Grax? Means. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a okay. resistance? <laughs> yes, we do. Message Green and let's chat. One diamond per resist assist. That's really cheap. That. So you're paying then, yeah? Uh, I've got a bit of a problem. Um, so my diamonds are in my ender chest, which are inside a shulker box. And I, okay. you know, I can put no shulkers problem. down, but I can't pick them back up again. So I don't really want to leave my sure. you know, toolbox. There you go. Just get it on, um, get it on out. Don't mm. No, like get I have an ender chest, out. but like mm. I can't pick up the shulker box when I put it down. So there, stick, oh, you know. I'll pick it up for you. I've... I'll just pick it up for you. Uh, mm. I mean, it's a lot of hassle, you know. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> hey, jeez, one diamond. Here we are, squabbling <laughs> over one diamond. Come on, now, how cheap are we? <laughs> it's a holiday. All right, I will. Ooh, is this? Where does that go? Uh, I don't know. It's a. Oh, it's a sitting area with a campfire in it. I think this is where we're supposed to meet. Resistance assistance. He couldn't yes, be more louder, could you? Could he? You know. I know. Like everyone on the server, we've been rumbled. Problem. <laughs> this is. I don't. You know. I'm kind of like de debating whether this was worth the consultancy because it seems like he doesn't quite know um to keep it down. You see, the first thing you need to learn about resisting is flare. Oh. Flare. Hi. Yeah, oh, you're you gonna appear from the walls. Came out hello. Of I was expecting a drop in. Learning things Very already. Nice. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah. all about showmanship. Welcome oh. to Green's Resistance Assistance Consultancy Services. It's definitely not a resistance. Definitely not. 100%. No, but it's not. No. It's definitely. exactly what we need right now because we are ready to strike back on Run the Clown, and we're down a member. Gem yeah. couldn't make it today. We'll pull empty oh. seat over there. Yeah. Oh, well, that's okay. I, I, well, my prices are pretty competitive. You saw that. Although, e even though you're competitive, I think Pearl also wanted to see if maybe we could get a discount. Yeah, because what? like you kind of just like added us in chat a little bit there. You know, I don't know if we can really trust full consultancy at this point. You know, it's, uh, yeah, you know, that's, that's everybody knows. diamond. But like, you know, I feel like, I don't know, we just can't trust I it can give you a 50% yeah. discount. Oh, okay, that works. I guess. How do we okay. cut, how do we cut a diamond? Let's see split that in half then. I don't know how this is going to work. <laughs> <laughs> how this is going to work. We should be okay. honest with you though. Like we want to get back at the king for doing all sorts of stuff around the shopping district and covering our chops and with ugly bulb boards, but okay. we don't really know and exactly what to do. I've been waiting for an excuse to do something about these royal emeralds. Yes, they've been so annoying in my shop. Yeah. And not even they are equal a exchange. Royal pain in my waffle, and that's <sighs> not, oh, not even an exaggeration. <laughs> I've got, I've lost so many diamonds to this fake currency. Yeah. And I think, well, according to him, they are a one-to-one -one ratio diamond to emerald. Yeah. I'd... So I mean, I if we it. just go to the crassle and. Um, see that through, we should be able to exchange emeralds for diamonds, no problem. Oh. I like that idea. I have plenty of those fake currency emerald thingies. And like we should blow up the king. Oh, just, oh. just end with that. You know, that's... There's, if, okay. You ask if consultants. I, I can't force you to do anything, but you are consulting <laughs> an expert on resistances, and it's not a resistance unless you blow up the king. That's a bit extreme, don't Perfect. you think? No, I like it. I like it. They killed me last <laughs> week, took my head and all that, so I'm uh, down. I'm ready for some revenge. Let's do it. All right, fair enough. Now, I checked my shop pretty recently, and I'm fairly certain I have a few emeralds hiding away in here. I'm pretty sure, because there is some in this one. And look, it's not even one exchange. One to one. Five diamonds for one is my price, not one. They've taken a whole bunch of my shells and not even paid correctly in any instance all right back we go come in the front window there we go <laughs> well that was easy to break in <laughs> they don't exactly yep. keep them all yep, protected in secure. here so i mean this is this is fairly simple for the most part you see they've got piles of diamonds lying around these are our diamonds we just uh craft these up into emerald blocks uh-huh yep done then, that oh there's so many look how look at this mismanagement of funds they are rich that. 
I can make one emerald one one. block. <laughs> is that all you have? Really? <laughs> you haven't you haven't <laughs> been hurt by this as wow. much as we have. I've got <laughs> I've got twenty one blocks of emeralds that I've missed out oh on. Oh my. sorry, diamonds. Well, uh, <laughs> technically I should be paid more, but they underpaid me. They did not one for one on my end, so it's there you go. Well, thank you. I'll lend you some so you can you can enjoy this too. <laughs> okay. This isn't illegal. He said one to one. No, We're no, just yeah. swapping them back. He stated in his video that it is a one to one exchange rate of diamonds to emeralds. Well, the vault is directly is, under us. Is this Wait, the there's a vault on top of all of this. Yeah. Yeah. What? Under all of Down this. here, right? Yes, under. Pop down the hole. Whee! It's down there. Oh yeah. Oh my it's, god. Uh, is uh, there a warden in it's here? It's a little more than one to one, right? Yeah. We could just you want a few extra, right? We just take we just take what we're due and nothing nothing else. Eight. Okay, now I got one extra. You know what? They actually owe me more than that because I I have a thing in my shop with Nautilus shells that says five per and they paid one. So I'm just gonna mine Ooh, a few extra. Underpaid. Yep. Take it back, Pearl. All right, Royal Emeralds. Oh, I just just paying what's due. There we go. That feels better. Oh. That there we go. feels better. Well paid. Right, hmm. but that's not all. We um. Let's rig the chair. Oh, yeah, we got to blow that up. Can we replace the netherite blocks with uh, emerald blocks as well? Theoretically. I, mean, I guess that's not part of the deal, is it? <laughs> aren't they basically indestructible? Are you, you're going to... You it wouldn't be too bad with the deep slate. I'm going to have to uh, go get this stuff and then bring it. You're going to be there a while. Do you want some help? Yeah. Yeah. I'll help you out. We got this. Yep. <laughs> This is more resistant than us. I don't know why I started this, but now I can't stop. You realize if we break this by hand, are we even gonna, I'm not gonna pick this up. I can't remember, I, I don't remember why we were here. Just to hit this block. Me either. Obviously. This is oddly Wait satisfying though. This. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've learned something today. Let's blow this thing up. Okay. Uh-huh, okay, uh -huh. right, I what see. Else? Yeah. What else <laughs> Red I don't see making me work for this half a diamond, I see. <laughs> yes, exactly. Of well, you know what? I'll oh. tell you what. Since we are putting you to work here, we'll let you keep the whole diamond. Oh, you don't have wow. to figure out how to split a, it. A half a diamond tip. Impulse, that's so <laughs> expensive. <laughs> Gosh, not made of diamonds. <laughs> but look at the work he's doing. Look at He's doing great. He's I doing a fantastic job. <laughs> right, loading it up. Ah, oh, gosh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. The what do you mean, mate? Right? Turn off first. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, the redstone's gonna oh, turn Oh no, off. take him off, Grinch! Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, no one touch that. This right, I'm well. loading it up. One, two, three. Gosh. Do not do not go over that. It's so tempting oh. to walk over it, though. Ooh. Okay. Oh, jeez! Oh, oh. 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 Don't maybe do that. Maybe sneak out of here. <laughs> I didn't think this through. My, my heart. My heart. I can't take it. This is why it's hard. All right. Is everything back the way it was? I think so. I think so. I'm afraid to oh, even look. Oh, wow. Okay. We did this. Let's Ooh. leave before something happens we don't want it to. Appreciate that assistance. Oh. Well worth yeah, the one that's diamond. that's it. I've earned this diamond. <laughs> Good and proper. Well if, done. If your resistance needs further assistance, another diamond, another, another resist assist. Oh. Sounds good. Sounds we'll good let to you me. know. Good luck with your Sue group. Soup. P is silent. Soup. Um, soup. 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 Did we do a scary thing? Maybe. Do I have more diamonds though? Yes, I do. Do I regret it? No, I don't. Oh, and I, I did try and give back these diamond blocks to Impulse, but Impulse said he didn't want them, so um, I guess they're mine now. I'm suddenly richer than I was before, and I like it. <laughs> but now we have stolen more diamonds back from Ren, or are they really stolen when they're already stolen from us in the first place? I don't know. But we've gotten some diamonds back, and we're looking absolutely fabulous. At this point in the episode, though, I'm gonna rob a few extra diamonds from him even further, and do some of these King's quests, just to kind of really, really hammer at home that he's 
probably going to run out of diamonds and I'm very curious what's going to happen when he realizes. And what I've already done is I have looked at this priority royal quest here and given it a little bit of a bookmark. And all we've got to do is spend 64 diamonds in the shopping district and we get all of these diamonds right here. Of course, it's not a full return on diamonds, but it's something. One more diamond less in the hands of Ren is one more victory for the soup group. While we're here though, I'm just gonna check and see if I can do a couple of other quests to take even more out of his hands. Give the hot potato to a hermit on camera. I think that one's a pretty easy quest and it still has diamonds to it. Kind of noticed that Ren has started to replace the uh, the quest rewards with royal emeralds. I think he's, uh, I think he's really feeling it at this point. All right, but I know just who to give the hot potato to. Look who happens to be online right now, a lovely Ren the King. <laughs> Perfect person to do it to right now. I do have some hot potatoes back at my base, so I am going to have to go grab those for that one, but I will accept the quest. Doink. There we go. That's a daily. What about one for the weekly? What have we got down here? Ooh, complete a dare and pass on the dare stick. I'm literally doing that right now. Okay, I'm just going to accept that one because, uh, yep, I'll be able to do that one soon. And what about one for the unique? Let's have a look. I've had a look around and to be honest, there's not actually any diamond worthy ones left to do right now. So uh, I guess never mind for the for the unique ones, but at least we have a daily and a weekly to do. Oh, and plus that special one outside, I guess. First things first, the hot potato. For some reason, I have two of them. Try and locate a Ren dog somewhere on the server. Get told where a certain Ren dog is somewhere on the server. Pearl? Hello there. Ha King oh, Ren. Oh, hello. Hi. Hello. Oh, how's it going? I just, I just wanted to come here and um, yes. do a little bit of that. <laughs> what have you done? <sighs> you take that. It's yours <laughs> now. It's, that's all yours now. It's, yep. Pick what it is up. it? Pick it up. No! I <laughs> stop potatoing myself. No! I've got another one as well, but you know, you can have that one and I'm just going to eat these and uh, <sighs> fly off now. No! No, no, no! What are you trying get, to get back to, to me? Get to the stocks you with you! One? Have the second to one! To the stocks! Bye! Get it! <laughs> and now that our hot potato is passed on, I'm going to take uh, that one, take that one, and take my diamonds. <laughs> Wonderful. The next one is to spend 64 diamonds in the shopping district, and I'm going to avoid all people affiliated with the king in this instance, and use them on other people's wonderful shops. Boop, boop. Roop, boop, boop. Ooh. Pop, 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 pop. Ooh, achievement. With our powers combined, I have frog light blocks. <laughs> I am no witch, Ren. What are you talking about? Oh, I just buy lights from a shop. Doop, 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 doop. I'll accept that one because that one's also Corrales' shop. And the final diamond I'll just use on a stack of spruce logs. Bam. I did have to take a trip back to my base to empty my inventory so I could buy more. Apparently it's really hard to uh, spend a whole stack of diamonds in the shopping district without filling up your inventory. Everyone is way too cheap, too cheap. But anyway, that quest is now done. I shall take my diamonds, my shard, and my head back. Thank you very much. Now, as much as we have done a lot of things today, there is one more thing that I want to do, and that is mess with the thou shall party sign once again. There was a pretty great comment in the latest Hermitcraft episode that I had uploaded that suggested I cut out one of the words on that sign and simply just place it on one of the other ones to completely change the meaning of the signs themselves. And uh, I'm going to use the not in that one without the, the cross through it and stick it right over here on this sign right between the shell and eat. Let me just, let me just do that right now. Just, just a quick little, quick little cut, you know, like a, a like, like a little, like a little, uh, like a little bam and it'll be done. Bam. Done. Just like that. Just as I said. Thou shall not eat only gigapies, which means by the sign, only gigapies shall not be eaten in this scenario. And yes, it is cut perfectly out of this sign, which now says thou shall party. And I decided to add in the balloons actually from the diamond pillar competition, just to rub in a little bit of you know, extra salt here. They were just hovering around in the sky back at spawn, not touched for the longest time. So I'm like, you know what? Perfect for the situation. Let's just shove them over here. 
And uh, honestly, I think they fit brilliantly. But today I reckon we have made some pretty good moves on the server, some big moves against the king. And uh, oh my gosh, things things are yet again <laughs> ramping up. And now Green is involved. That's, that's even scarier. Anyway. Actually, guys, that is going to be the end of the episode today. We have run out of time, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, let me know down in the comments below. If you have any feedback for the episode, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Soup. One has survived the dastic for today. It shall surface again in the next episode when it passes hands to a brand new hermit. Ah, <laughs> cleaning lady survives again! <laughs> At least for the most part, this episode was pretty painful, let's be honest. Ah. <laughs>